Hi, today we are going to customize the text field component from Material UI. So if you've never used Material UI before, it's a component library um, built for React, and it's really useful for creating slick looking web apps. Um, however, I will say that it can be challenging sometimes to override the component styling on it. So in particular, we're gonna focus on the text field today. So this is what we're dealing with right here. It's just um, two very basic text fields. We've put the disabled um, flag on and the variant is outlined. Now, both of those affect the styling. Material UI does a lot under the hood to apply classes to their components and um, this variant especially and the disabled also are both um, material UI keys off of them for knowing what kind of styling out of the box to apply to these text fields. So we're going to not only override the text field, we're actually gonna do it in two different ways with two different text fields. That's why you see these two right here. So we're going to compare and contrast the um, styled components uh, method of overriding the text field. So in that one, you actually literally create an override component and so instead of having text field here, we'll actually have what I'm going to call styled text field and it will target certain classes and that's how we'll do the override. Um, the alternative that we're going to look at today is this is the classes object, which is material UI's built in API for targeting uh, certain classes without having to know their names in the actual DOM and um, using that API to um, just apply the styling, the custom styling that we want to apply. So with that said, we will jump right into this. I'll mention that uh, for the styled components, I've imported styled from styled components. And so what that does is it just allows us to pass in a component that gets overridden and we'll be able to apply some custom CSS. So with that said, let's get going here. Style text field is what I'm going to call my overridden component, the new component we're creating. I'm going to pass it to text field, material UI component. And I'll talk about this code a little bit as we go through it. So I have the benefit of having done the research already. I know what classes are in the DOM that have been generated by material UI. I will actually go to the DOM here in a minute once we've looked at the syntax first, and I'll talk through why this is uh, the way that it is. So first, uh, you see this MUI disabled. So as mentioned, we've got a disabled attribute on, on our text field. So behind the scenes or under the hood, you could say material UI is actually generating a class called MUI disabled and applying it to a certain spot in our text field component. And then you can see with the syntax here, we've actually got a space. If you remember CSS selectors, of course, then that means from here, we're targeting a child component. This MUI outlined input dash notch outline that comes from this variant that we've applied. So there's some kind of subcomponent. Really, this text field is a composite of, of an input and a couple other uh, comp wrapping components. So that's why we've got this MUI disabled and this MUI outline input notched outline. And we've got our ampersand here. If you remember, what that does is it's actually just like repeating the original class name. So we'll look at the DOM after we get our, our classes object um, coded as well but just keep that in mind as we're going through this. So with this, what I'm saying is that this selector will properly select and apply a border color of orange. And just for making things pretty, then I'm just gonna add a little margin to the top. So this is actually the component on bottom that we're working with right now. One thing I'll mention, notice there's not any quotes around any of this stuff. There, um, there are quotes at the outside of it, but um, within this, if you have quotes around this, it will actually not properly be applied in the DOM. It'll 
try and literally apply it with that with the quotes around it. So we've got our style and text field here. So instead of actually having a text field in our JSX down here, then we want to use that style text field. So to get that border color orange and whatever other stylings you might want, uh, it's really not that much code. If you are familiar with Material UI, you've got some experience with the classes they're generating, then once you get used to this syntax, you can do it pretty quickly. That's what that looks like. So now let's go on over to our um, custom text field that we're gonna make using the uh, classes object. So this is an API, you can find it in the docs with Material UI. So in this case, or perhaps with this component in particular, we're targeting input props and then within that we've got classes. So we are telling it, we're going to pass you some classes that override um, what material UI was planning on using for the root class. So we're literally going to have our classes.root, let's see, let's make it uh, override the disabled class. And I'll explain this more in just a moment. Believe it or not, I have a hard time coding and talking at the same time. So here we go. So we've got uh, this kind of mirrors what we had over here. You see our MUI disabled, our notched outline, and we've got root here. And as you can probably guess, that root targets the class that this ampersand is bringing in for us on the style component. So now we've got these three classes targeted and um, now we actually need to create our classes, but um, these, these uh, properties that I'm targeting, like I mentioned, this is a specific API that Material UI uses. So in the docs, you know, some reading, I said, okay, I'm using the disabled attribute. I've set variant to outline. Look in the docs, look at the API. What do I need to target in this class's object? in order to override the appropriate classes. So here we go, it was um, it was root disabled and notched outline. So then in our root, um, it's a little bit interesting, a little bit funny, you could say that um, we actually have to have all three classes here. These two simply just make the compiler happy. I'll go ahead and code out our root class and show you what I mean by that. So within root, it's going to be kind of similar at this point. We'll see that ampersand. And we're going to target disabled. See the syntax is just a little bit different. We've got that dollar sign in there. And here we've got border color orange. So you can see here we're using what's called JSS. Um, the bigger name for it is CSS in JS, in JS, excuse me. So it's taking a CSS type syntax and um, instead of having a CSS file, you're actually able to create objects for styling your, your components. So um, that's why we've got camel case here instead of like border dash color or the things we're used to seeing. So anyway, you can see that we've got this, we've got root, and then within there, uh, we've got disabled, and we've got notched outline. So I mentioned that these exist. They literally exist just to keep the compiler happy. Um, sometimes if you're, you know, depending on what you're using, it's gonna um, throw some errors on the disabled and the notched outline here. Um, it's not for me right now, but, um, leave these classes in here because it's good practice depending on how strict your compiler is. So with that said, let's see what we got over here. So now we've gone from, if you remember, it was, there was no margin in between. I added the margin to the bottom text field and uh, there were just gray borders on these things. So I can't click into them because they're disabled. That's one of our flags that we had. Uh, but it's really, um, if you know what your, what the API is or if you're familiar with the DOM, and what classes material UI is putting on these components, then it does not take too much to get the styling done properly. So let's actually take a look at the DOM, like I mentioned, 
take a look at some of these classes in here. First, we'll be able to see how big uh, these components can be sometimes with Material UI. As I mentioned, the text field is kind of an unusual situation because it's just a complex component. So we see this MUI text field root. That's that root class that we targeted, uh, whether in our whether in our um, classes API or um, whether it's with this ampersand in our styled text field. So then we've got, let's see, see if we can find, okay, so here's MUI outlined input notch outline. See if we can find the disabled class. Oh, there we go, MUI disabled. So we can see we've got a div here, a child div here, and a child element of field set here. So that reflects this structure that we've got right here. Our ampersand, which is really our root, we're saying a child, which has the disabled class, and we're saying a child of that has this MUI outlined input. So if you know the pattern, if you understand the pattern, and of course it helps to understand JSS if you're using the classes object method uh, or the a API over here, then um, you can really tackle this material UI styling uh, with you know saving yourself a lot of time instead of struggling through it. So really just getting a good foundation of knowledge is, is critical. So I would appreciate if you liked this video, consider subscribing. And also in the notes on this video, I actually have a link to a book that I put out just a couple days ago, which is, um, it's all about styling material UI components. It talks a little bit more about the um, styled components method, and it talks more about the classes object. There's a way you can override components with the theme. Um, there's always the original class name, which is um, common in React components. It's the least powerful option. But anyway, if you're interested, you can check out that book as well on Amazon, and you can actually read it for free if you're a Prime member or if you just sign up for a uh, Kindle Unlimited subscription. Uh, there's a trial subscription, so you can actually read my book for free. So uh, by all means, please uh, take a look at that. And with that said, I appreciate your time. I hope this was a helpful video for you.